If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that where I am, because this place features, you know, fairly regularly. And I'm out on the saltings and grass this morning. As you can see, the river's desperately low. Um, but um, there have been some slightly bigger tides over the last couple of days. So I'm going to take a look down, just in case a wee sea trout might have moved in, you know. I don't hold out much hope, but there's always a chance. There's a wee trout moved over there. But I'm just going to keep moving, not going to spend too long anywhere. Um, I think my flies are too big. Oh, and they're in the bottom anyhow. I, I think my flies are too big. Um, so I think I'm going to have to go down a size or two. But again, that's fine. After the first few casts around the corner, I decided to put on smaller flies, so that's what I've done. Gone with something a wee bit smaller, just for a, a run down here. And I've done a gold blue on the top, and uh, a wee tiny, tiny silver stoat on a double on the point. It's, uh, I don't know what size it is, extremely small would be a good answer. doubt if the fish will be up here because when we get down just another few yards there's a wee shallow bit like just gravel and I know they will come over the gravel sort of but at the minute at this time of year they're not desperately keen at you know because they, they're they're still very early so anything that's in here and move to wee brown trout anything that's in here won't be too enthusiastic I don't imagine so I don't think the fish will be up as far as this pool yet. So before I have a cast here, I thought I'd show you this wee bit. And you see, this is why I don't think the fish are much higher up, because obviously they have to run up that now. Oh, curlew. <laughs> they will run up it, you know, but it not, it's very uncommon for them to go up it with so little water over it. So I would say generally that Anything that came in today is not any further up the up the river than here. But we'll go around onto this wee point. Casting's gonna be a tricky, but sure. Let's see if we can get a fly up it. And uh, there might just be a fish in here, you know. Again, always a wee chance.
There's a nice wee wave on the water though, which is always handy, you know. Um, it's, with it being a bit breezy today, you know. Um, but uh, I'm going to move down a wee bit further again. I'm not standing still for very long anywhere. Down on the graveyard pool now for a wee quick swim along it. I think what I'll do is I'll fish it down very quickly with these wee flies and then I'm going to go I think a wee size bigger. I have a sort of sort of feeling now that I'm a wee bit tiny just you know because there's quite a good wave on here. So, the old soldier palmer on the point, quite a big one now, and I've gone to this sort of variation on a teal blue and silver. I think it's tied by Ron Sutherland and um, Helmsdale Flies, um, and it's, as you can see, it's a sort of teal blue and silver-ish thing on a, a double. So I'll give them a try and we'll see how we go with these. Bit, bit bigger just because I've got a bit of a wave on here. Since I've left this flapping about, it'll have the tangles because of the wind. Let's get it in, sort it out. That's better. That's where we want to be, isn't it?
think we'll call that quits here. Maybe move on a bit and see if we can get a wee cast for a brown trout. I'm not going to go too far, you know, just somewhere handy. After my wee splash in the river this morning, I come down here to the loch on the way home. Just to have a wee throw here, or just on the way home. I'm, I think I'll have a cup of tea and my lunch here. So once I get a wee shaded spot, because you know there's quite a wee breeze. Um, so I've got a what I've got, blue zulu, blue zulu, and a and a Connemara black actually. Um, to start with, uh, give it a wee throw. See if we can move something here. I never have any joy in this loch. Um, it's, it produces well for some people. Now, mostly on the warmer spinner, um, but uh, I never see fish on it, catch fish on it, anything. But it can produce fish. And because it's so handy, it's worth a cast for a few minutes, you know. Like I say, I'm gonna mostly, I think I'm gonna mostly make lunch. In fact, I might do it behind that bank in a few seconds. But uh, I just want to get a wee bit of a line out as well. I've just had my lunch, so I thought I'd have a few more wee casts here and then call it quits for the day of other things to be getting on with, you know, so but I thought oh, I'll get a few get a few casts first. I think that'll do us for today. We've kind of done enough, you know. Not very successful day, but sort of worked out the way I thought it would, I guess. Um, but I've a lot to be getting on with, so I'd better go and get on with it. And, uh, it is about time to start into the stuff I need to do, you know. So, I'll call it quits for another day.